A big shout out, of course, to um, if you ask me, put away Otile Brown. This is the next biggest guy in the Kenyan music industry. Masa Uti, bro, big up to you. Hoping you'll be coming on the show very soon. Thank you so much. Of course, the remix is lit. Thank you so much. A big shout out, of course, to Calligraph George, the OG, aka Baba Yo, aka M. Basher, the OG himself on the remix sitting up. This is TNL with Dr. Fenneke. My name is, of course, Kenya's king of English comedy. Dr. Fenneke is my name. Alongside DJ Lisney, not your ordinary DJ. Hey, now you have to press your one eye. Yeah. Not your ordinary DJ. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> a big shout out, first of all, <laughs> a big shout out to my landlady. My landlady, thank you so much. Uh, all the way in Runda. <coughs> okay, fine. Ruaka. <laughs> Are there landladies in Runda? No. Okay, like Ruaka, but when you put your Instagram location, okay. it says uh, Two Rivers Sour. or Runda. Thank you so much, of course. <laughs> my security guy uh, at my office in town, Nyambane, thank you so much, of course, for tuning on the show, you and your family all the way in Kalangari 46. Thank you so much. Is there somebody you want to give a big shout out? Uh, my cousin, Popi. Uh, Poppy. Yes. Ah, people are still called Poppy Boy. Poppy. But I fear, apart from Poppy Boy, <laughs> if there are two boys who are dangerous, if you meet any of them, run away. Just by them speaking to you, you might get pregnant. Brayo, Kevo. Those boys and Moas. Eh, uh, yes. Those boys are dangerous. <laughs> Brayo, Kevo, Steve, Moas, ah. Jemo. Ah. Those ones there. There are five. But a uh, good thing is, um, there's those who are normally cool, calm, and collected? Uh, not of Fueneke. Why would, why would <laughs> you not be me? I'm one of the most well-behaved human beings alive. Please, only that the name is not common. You no, but I don't, I don't know what name. my parents were thinking. Of Fueneke, who calls their... Do you know I'm the only person called Fueneke? Yes. Born alongside the river. You know my parents met at the river. <laughs> Have I, at the funeral. Have I told you my life story? So <laughs> emotional. <laughs> my parents, it was that time of, of Sukus. That time of Billy Bellos, she's a very small girl, uh -huh. um, Yondo sisters. Mm -hmm. So what happens in the village is when somebody dies in the city, uh -huh. you're not buried immediately. The body goes to the village and stays for two days before it is buried. Then people dance around it the whole night. I goose, 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 <laughs> goose, 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 <laughs> Oh, shit, so my dad was dancing. Coo, 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 coo. <laughs> my mom was there with the lesson. <laughs> then before you know it, because it was near the bush. Uh -huh. They are when I came. They disappeared. Mm. Nine months. Hello, <clears throat> you boy. I came out. So please don't ever ignore any gathering. Your future wife or future husband <laughs> could be there. So like I normally say, on a Saturday afternoon, collect a handkerchief somewhere in Mudura, go to Langata, go to any funeral. Your future wife could be crying over there. That's where they are. Thank you very much. Don't go continue just saying hello and hey in people's DMs as if you're trying to do a remix of Adele's song. Have you seen those men who have been talking the same a whole year? <laughs> they have been DMing a girl a whole year. Hey, yes, hello, hey. Why are you lengaying me? Hey, hey. Like four years. Hi, hi. There's always been DMing you? Yes, four years. Four years? Yes. Marry that man. <laughs> that is a mo that I must be an Arsenal supporter, very persistent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me on the last segment of the show. Allow me also to now to invite some beautiful faces again. Yeah. On the second segment, we had a lot of the test road. We're just men on the show. But now I'm going to invite some beautiful faces on the show, ladies and gentlemen. This show has become the talk of the town. Trending all over. And guys talking about it on the streets, in the clubs, in charmers, everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it was now due to public pressure and public demand. I had to bring you Kenya's number one drama show right now. Ladies and gentlemen, socialize. It airs every Wednesday on KTN from 10 15. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to invite Ruana, Diana, Angie, and of course, DJ. Wait, wait, some questions. Okay. I didn't know about that. Mm. There you are. There you are. Welcome, 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 welcome. You're welcome, welcome. Uh -huh. welcome. Yeah, my nigga, my nigga, what's up, bro? Good to see you, good to see you, bro. Uh, I guess I will say hi to my DJ. Hello, hi. DJ, DJ. 
everybody was waving. Oh, this is fate of Kumele. But what if it's just a hand? No, it's because What if she never shakes hands? <laughs> what is the problem with you? I'm is sorry. it that bad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You better be did son. I, did I intrude? You intrude. No, in Ask fact, me. I wanted to hug. To and hug she wanted you. a hug. Hey, hey, listen, see me after this. Eh? Huh? The HR will be waiting for you. I think you have a step in your mandate on the music. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, Ruana, did I get the name correctly? Yes, you did. You did. Like after like what, 25 times? Yeah, I tried. By the way, <laughs> it's like trying to call somebody and they're not picking up. <laughs> your name was more, and it almost ended up with the voicemail. No, it's fine. Uh, are you Kenyan? Um, yes, I am. Ah, you look a little bit Congolese. No, okay, definitely not from, no, no. Okay, no. fine, it's not like Congolese are bad, they are cute, by the way. I, I, I have nothing uh, against Congolese. You're like, hey, I'd rather be a Ugandan. <laughs> 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 but guys, welcome on the show. Um, uh, Diana. Angie. Angie. Why do I keep on confusing? Oh, my. All the time. Angie, that is Diana. I don't know why people confuse us. Yeah, I don't know All why. the time. Is this something that, it, so it happens, so I'm not the only one? No, no you're not. Seems uh, to happen a lot, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome on the show. Thank you. Thank Your you. show is a talk of the town. It's a talk of the town. How does that make you guys feel? Let me start with you, Angie. Um, it's nerve-wracking. Because mm -hmm. every time you just want to make sure that you're performing as, you know, as people are expecting you to perform, you mm -hmm. just... Yeah, so you always just want to, you just don't want people to watch the show and then they just look at you and they're like, mm, that, that acting is a bit, mm. Mm. yeah. I mean, that's so what you were born to do. Yeah, it's like, like eh, seriously. Okay, kuna talent Kenya, now I need to So that you're just always the nerve wracking. That's, that's for me. R Rena, let me ask. You have the weirdest of a character. Because I'm pretty sure, like, I'm shocked as well. I mean, you play the character <laughs> of a house manager. I don't want to call them housemates, so and then they're going to be tweeting, and, mm, and then yeah, Shiko will yeah. be all over my case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you play the character of a house manager. Yes. A.K.A. house girl. Yes. But look at you. How does that make you feel? I mean, look at me. Uh, like, look at you, girl. Mm. Like, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you get all this character into your mind then? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. I'm going to say I like it. I actually do. Mm. And, and it's not as surprising to me as it is for people because I, I come off as very serious, but I'm very goofy. Really? I'm extremely really? goofy. Yeah. I am the first victim of that seriousness. <laughs> when I came, I realized, I, but then I say hi to you, like I'm saying hi to a pastor, so I'm like, hey, God bless you, ma. Yeah, you were like, hi. And yeah, then, you was like, hey. then you know, your, your eyes, your eyes are like, boy, you better not come close to me. I got heels and they're new and they're sharp. I will stab you. So I just <laughs> keep some space. No, then, then you bring out this character very well. Do, have, is, it, is it a kind of work you've done before? I mean, I've acted before, but mm. it's exciting for me because this is the first role I've got as a main character, mm. and especially having this as my role. Like, it's not uh, a bougie kind of role that I have. It's mm. it's a house manager. It's and she's from the ghetto, and it's it's. I like it. I love it. Do, do you actually come from the ghetto? Or you had to learn the shame. Both. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Oh my no, God. I don't. Guys from Dandora. Sorry. Oops. I don't. <laughs> let's get to Diana. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look, look, look at TJ. TJ was like... He's like, yeah, boo. Have, have the money. Wow. I'm being a gentleman. You guys are such a couple goals, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Bonfire safari, safari is just sponsoring guys everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's too bad. We'll take it, Mara. Mara. We'll no, take it. Like, like she even cheats on me in the thing, so... Uh, couple uh, goals. Uh, let me ask, let me ask, have you literally been cheated on before? TJ. Um, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You can, you can be honest. We're you can be honest. honest. We're, we're talking about the show. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's because on the show you play the part so well. Thank and you. And I'm wondering. From experience. Yeah, as it's an ex. Something that, uh, as an ex. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a professional ex. <laughs> like, like a, hey, you know, you know, like you have an ex. You see the way you have a, like, like an alcoholic group. Now you have like an exes group. Like, hey guys, What's my name is TJ. And I, I love, love being an ex. ex. <laughs> I'm an ex. Listen, guys, it's called getting into character, mm -hmm. by the way, because mm -hmm. like she breaks my heart and she just steps on it. So I had to, you know, channel that mm. pain. It's okay. You know, why is it? Like you know you're getting all emotional already. <laughs> yeah. I see the way you're squinting your eyes, your eyebrows are shaking. Uh, Boy, it's okay. Why'd you do that? <laughs> you break okay. my heart. That's the difference. Okay, fine. Can we just have a different interview? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, clearly. Let's just give him a moment over there. Yeah, so the two of us, yeah, we are here for social life. <laughs> Dan, let, let, let me ask. Um, yeah. in, the, in, in, in the show, mm -hmm. you're the ex 
girlfriend, isn't it? Yes. Then you moved on. Yes. To someone who has money. Mm -hmm. To a grown man. No, to a grown, grown man. man. Grown man. Let me ask, what is the definition <laughs> of a grown man? man? <laughs> huh? What is the definition of a grown man? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, when he and I were dating uh, in a story, we were yet to establish ourselves and mm. it was that young kind of love. You are the point of, uh, so what are we? We are a chosen generation. <laughs> yeah, and he wasn't like committing, he wasn't making a, a clear decision of what he wants. Broke. And, no. <coughs> okay, he was broke, broke as well. Hey, hey, stay out of it. Stay out. Broke. Focus on your own. Broke. Go wash some dishes or something. I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I that thought right. you were being I, nice. No, I still got my love for you, girl. I just talk I got happy. you. I got mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Yeah. So I we moved on, and I found somebody else, and I fell in love with him, and I thought, okay, maybe I can make this work. And then he brings himself back into my life. I I bumped into her, into them, as they were like on a date, mm -hmm. and she was there like trying to swindle this guy of his money. Yes. So no, she's a gold you know what you Yes, no, that's why she left. I, no, I am not. That's why she left me. You know what? Because you didn't have money, bro. That's no, why listen, you said it was the show. And you guys are hard backstage. <laughs> date. And I told Disney, date on your own financial GPS. Yeah. Okay, let me put I agree. Way. Yes, a part of it was the financial stability. But I actually am in love with Edward. And I'm really hoping, like, maybe he'll... Hmm. But Diana, who are you kidding? <laughs> the show is called Socialize. It's about gold diggers. <laughs> Yo, I mean. No, it's no, not. no, no, it's look not. At no, look at her. Look at her. No, 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 no this, this is Diana. Right. Look at, look, look at her. I mean, she, she, she waited for her bosses to be out. She went and started fitting her bosses' clothes. <laughs> then when she came in, the bosses, the, the happy was like, God damn. Then she was like, you know what? God <laughs> damn too. Yeah. <laughs> but she got a hustle. But she got, instead of gold digging, Sufriya, she went to give the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> who knows what she's capable of? Angie, oh my at least you're the one who is all out, like you're confident. Yes. Like, I am this and this is it. Yes. Is that your real character? No. You know, <laughs> yeah. the She's a b <laughs> That's her character. <laughs> what she's actually to you about everything. When, 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 when you guys, are, when the show is being teased, and the word went around that socialites show is coming on TV. Uh -huh. There's been a lot of comparison between socialites and Nairobi Diaries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, can you explain to us? Because even me at first I was a little bit confused. I was like, oh my God, are we, we already, we're already having so much of Pendo, Vera, Huda. Who else is a socialite? I, I don't know. Uh, we don't know. So <laughs> can you explain to us, what's the difference between socialites on KTN? And Nairobi Diaries. Um, I mean, <laughs> I think the first thing is people thought, because Nairobi Diaries is not scripted, is it? No. Ours is scripted. Mm -hmm. And we're not doing a reality show per se, mm -hmm. as compared to Nairobi Diaries, because it's a full-on reality show, literally. It's, it's, it's all... Yeah, as, for us, as we're acting, like this, these are just characters we're bringing out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not our life. It's n it, like when you see Tina or you see Nancy or you see uh, the rest of the characters. So you were saying, these are not like your real characters? No, this, it, it is, when you see, as I was saying, if you see Tina, Nancy or Cece or Michael, that, th those are just characters. That is not Angie, Ruena, Diana, mm. or TJ. Th it's like they're so different. We're just bringing out characters. We go read the script and we try and understand this character, what they're going through, and then now we come and see the story. Because we're trying to see the story but of our reality. But let me ask, mm -hmm. like, um, like a dimwit audience, yeah. what is a socialite? Kenyans don't understand. What is a socialite? TJ, from a man's point of view. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking from Michael's experience, mm. a socialite is someone who you fall in love with. Mm. <laughs> Hold the microphone well, not like a banana. <laughs> He's about to get emotional. Yeah, I know. Um, 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 yeah, I know. I know. Every, yeah, every, time, every time he starts like this, I'm like, socialite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, chill out. Subjects are out of place. He's a heartbroken man. Oh, man, I was, I was heartbroken. But I think, I think oh, a socialite Diana. is is someone who... No. Um, is opportunistic in the sense that they're not in, let's say, in this case, a relationship for the love. Mm -hmm. They're in it for the financial gain. Gain of that. Of that it's, more, it's, a, it's more like a parasite kind of relationship. Exactly. Where it's about what, I, what do I gain 
versus what does the other person gain? Exactly. But I beg to differ. I don't think it's necessary. Differ all you can, girl. I don't think it's necessarily just about the money. It's about because what? Because everybody has a different you know, definition of what a socialite is. Yes. And when you think about the Western areas, like you know, in America, a socialite to them is not a person who's just trying to get money off of men. and It's all about trying to get fame. It's trying to be popular. It's trying to be a social media influencer. It comes Being all over the stuff. place, but it's not necessarily about financial gain off of men. I wouldn't say it's just that. It's, we are the ones who perceive it like that. Actually, in Kenya, like a socialite is a very negative term. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take it as, oh, it's a gold digger. That's all it is. It's really not. I don't think it is. And I don't take it like that way. I mean, uh, I guess that's what we're trying God. to do. <laughs> take. But it's, it's true. true. Uh -huh. It is so true. Because when you compare us, like, honestly, when we're talking about the socialites and they're saying, oh, you're trying to be like Vera and the Huda and the Pendos and all these people and in my mind I was just like okay yeah I understand that perspective because that's what they perceive the subs themselves to be as mm. socialites but what we're trying to do is one is scripted as we said and mm. two we're just depicting these lifestyles of women who live like this so you just get just basically making a parody, a parody basically it's a satire parody sort of thing but we're not trying to be you know the Kardashians or something like it's not it's really not uh, real. No, not even the Kardashians. <laughs> I mean, I it's not real at all, and Forget everybody just mistakes it mm. to be something Let, else. Let's talk about now. Forget about the show, the socialites. Let's talk about now, you guys now in person. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, like you're not like uh, you're not like a house house girl at some point. <laughs> I feel like you're mm. picking on me because but that's no, fine. but I'm just saying because if you're a house girl, trust me, the number of applications and job requests <laughs> that are coming in right now, like oh, do I would have it in my house. That's it. Um, <laughs> let's start for me. What, what, what do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Mm, now, like, uh, really, you? Wow. Okay. When you're not acting. When I'm not acting, you mm. know, you know like, let me ask you a question. When you when you have a doctor here, mm. you ask them, when you're not being a doctor, what do you do? Probably checking out <laughs> on new diseases, doing a research. <laughs> what? Measles, oh, there's a new measles. <laughs> well, I am an actual full time. Full time? Yeah. Beautiful. And we are getting money. I, I, I was doing a research um, <laughs> last year, of course. I mean, trust me, I'm a law school dropout. I never go back to law school because I'm making so much money. I was, <laughs> Amen. I was wow. doing a research about, um, um, what is it, the Galaxy of what? Where Brut, Brut is a Brut played by Jason Statham, is playing. Ah, forgotten. Mm -hmm. And he was actually for just every time saying, I'm Brut. He was being paid forty-four million dollars. Wow! Are Just for saying that. We need that in Kenya. Yes. We need that in Kenya. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Kenyans will pay you with platforms. <laughs> we are you giving you platforms. Exposure. Exposure. We are building you. One day you it's remember. This exposure, you and your family. How it I is. wish. It I wish is. I could tell my landlord that I cannot pay my rent this month. But guess but what? I have exposure. I have exposure. Exposure in your kitchen. Yeah. For Culture Max Stress, what about you? Um, I'm acting. I'm also. I'm still in school. Mm. Yes. What are you doing? Um, I'm. Ac I'm actually currently doing. I'm actually almost done with my degree in journalism. Mm. And I don't know why you. I, I feel like I'm. I said it in. You know, in a doctorate kind of way. You know. Yeah, my but then we, uh, but then I was waiting for. I was, I was like, I'm doing like actual science. Almost. I was like, oh, journalism. <laughs> no. Um. So that and also I'm also into beauty, because I have an eyelash line. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yes. Nice. Yes. Do you have a f camera line? <laughs> Action. No, no, no. no. <laughs> What's the name of your eyelash line, though? Ruena Glamour. Ruena Glamour. Yes. On Instagram? Yes, at Ruena Glamour. Please, ladies, if you like her eyelashes, please go on Instagram right now. Uh, Ruena Glamour. Glamour. There's no, there's no underscore. No. Everybody has an underscore if somewhere. Did you leave me an underscore? <laughs> Actually, Why? there is an underscore. <laughs> <laughs> there is an underscore. What's up? I am an actress, but I'm also an advocate. So I practice ah, law. Finally. <laughs> Some two law okay. One and a half lawyers. <laughs> <and half>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was on my third year, then uh, comedy just came in between and I you know what it entails. As 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 long as you're making it, man. Yeah, it's about yeah. the coins, huh? It yeah, is. the Benjamins. Yeah. DJ, apart from bodybuilding, uh huh? <laughs> Actually, this is my life. You know, like I wake up. Oh, you have to I, be so. I, I so <laughs> that is how to cry. Uh, yeah, this is what I do. You know. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, what? 
Just, just, Guys, just can we focus? No, I realize he's, he gets so like deep, eh? <laughs> and so extra. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> guys, this is what I do for a living. <laughs> like, I got no option. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, help! You gotta go 100%. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> ah, you're a good actor. Actually, the last time, because he's, he's been a friend of mine for so many years. Yeah. The last time we met was five years ago. Mm -hmm. And I told him, we were just chatting, and I told him, I want to host the first ever comedy talk show in Kenya. Then I never knew when I was going to host him. I think probably he laughed or deep down he was like, Lord. <laughs> 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 you dream. Good luck with that one. Ah, no. Nothing, no, nothing. No. And, and here you are. Welcome on my show. It's a pleasure to be here. And I pray that God will give you the same as well. Fulfill the desires of your heart. Do you know we said that on a serious note. <laughs> like we've, we've, we've actually done like a five year challenge and we've taken a video. So yes. the next five years I should be in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I should be almost hosting the BET Awards. Mm -hmm. That's the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Can we make a challenge? Yay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when so I no, look, look, I look who's being extra now. <laughs> Please, look who's being extra. No, because she's closer. It's fine. It's cool. <laughs> hey, young man, <laughs> behave your age. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what's <laughs> like a five year challenge? Where would you want to be like five years? I hate asking this question in interviews, but you just brought it up. <laughs> like, what's your five-year vision? I, I want to be a billionaire in five years. A millionaire. Millionaire. It just starts. There's 60 it's billionaire. money in my mind, so I don't care if I'll be a mother or whoa. So I just well, want to be a millionaire. Sawa. Sorry. <laughs> TJ? Yes, yeah, so uh, my five-year plan, I want to act or produce in a film that does really well in international festivals. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah. Diana? Um, similar. I don't want to produce though. I just want to act. <laughs> I want to be in Hollywood at some point. That would be my end goal. Yeah. And also be a millionaire. I'm with you on that one. I'm wow. to find bankers. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> you want to have, apart from eyelashes, you want to have, do eyebrows? And <laughs> well, I mean, I hope to extend my line, yeah, to like more other beauty products. Which but line? I hope to set up shop, like Which a really line? nice shop. Yeah. Which line? What by, like, other than my eyelash line? Mm, you want to make it bigger? Yeah, I want to make it bigger, for sure. Probably more products. It's work, but it's five years, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have like one election in between. And act internationally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, my dear. But and you, you really do well in a South African uh, movie. Pitch me, pitch me. I, I, I will. I mean, I've got connections. <laughs> all right, all right. Network connections. Five years from now, I want to take the entertainment industry in Kenya to the next level. I just feel like I want to play my part. Mm -hmm. Jinxan just keeps saying here we're entertainment, we're complaining, we're giving exposure, but what are we doing as the artists to take it to the next level? Beautiful. So I would want in five years to challenge myself to take it to that next level. I don't know how, I don't know, like, I don't have like a plan, like this is the strategy, but I want to do that. So I'll just make sure my every decision I make is taking me to that decision. Do you think Kenyans are ready? They have to be, because we are good at it. We're good at acting, we're good at singing, we're good at all these artists things that we do. We are good at it. We just need to Beautiful. believe in ourselves. Oh, I love the confidence. Wow. This some um, Kanye West kind of confidence. <laughs> yeah. No Kanye would wear a t-shirt with his photo of a t-shirt of his t-shirt of his face of his face. Yes. <laughs> I think, did he follow anybody else? Because the last time I checked, he was only following Kim. Yeah, it's only Kim. Just yeah, in Kenya, yeah. we also have our own Kanye West. Who no, doesn't follow anybody? Yeah. Yashinsky. Yeah. <laughs> but Yashinsky doesn't yeah. follow anyone. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't follow anyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gold. <laughs> the gold. My God. Even five years. <laughs> that's a whole. No, that's a world I'm cup. Not not even gold. Everybody. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not following everybody. Guys, <laughs> make sure every Wednesday at 10:15 on your KTN home, you have no option but to tune your channel and control the remote to. Please focus on the socialites. It's an amazing show. Trust me. If I say it's amazing, if I endorse it, trust me. Eh, we got class. We just don't watch anything and everything. So if I'm watching it, you better watch it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, uh, final words, because you're now closing up the segment. You're closing up. I hope you guys had fun, though. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Loads of time. Yeah. Are you having us I mean, again? Please, please invite uh, us again. Please yeah. come. I mean, the cities, I'll make it bigger next time so that. <laughs> we're okay. We're okay loving each other. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, really? We okay. just feel like a yeah. nice <laughs> Rose Mohando <laughs> choir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is right. No. Big yeah. budget over here. No. We have no budget. But just, you know, just have some juice, you know? Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, just uh -huh. juice. I have or more water. water. Let's start with water. <laughs> Let's just start with water. water. Some wow. Water. You remember? Wow. <laughs> water. Um, water. So you guys <laughs> say, say me land. Chama? Water? Uh, no, guys. <laughs> say me land. Please. Say to me quite educate. Si say. Eh, si say me. It's what? part of the show it's when what? I... <laughs> what? 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 Uh, what's what? What's up? Water. <laughs>
Wow, you guys are watching me. To understand you know, I, st I still, I still oh. keep on asking myself, why is it that when guys go to the U.S. a man, <laughs> you a come man. up with a whole accent. Like but I've not seen somebody going to Uganda for six months. You don't come back like say, well, I <laughs> true or <laughs> India. No, but I understood because my first time uh, around four years ago, when I went to when I was in Atlanta for my first ever comedy tour, and I asked for water. You know, I said water like thirty times. Water, what? What a war, what a war. I even said water. They say couldn't get so until when I said war. <laughs> then, <laughs> then then I felt no, and I said, no, oh no, war. No. Then I took it past because I was like, oh, because really? now I'm from because I'm from Africa. <laughs> now you're telling me war. <laughs> I was so angry. No one says war. <laughs> no one. Like it's war. Let's it's war. war. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> For me, I took it, I was like, chick. Like the big racist because they're yeah, so racist. Yeah, so racist. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't even want that war. Just imagine. Imagine who's gonna listen. Like I'm saying magic. They don't have a like YouTube, um, Google Translate or something. Really, but what will I say? Swaa. Hey, no, I think no, I'm not defending them. But you know, what? Mad. Oh, listen. You have a song that we can close up the show with. Please, your your social media handles, please, as we finish. At Angie Mlai. Mlai is M L A Y. Angie Mlai. Yes. Oh. I have everything. a lawyer friend who thinks Mlai means something else. It means good. In yeah. But, like but yeah. Oh, oh but, but, but mine, but no, but mine is not spelled like that. Mine is yes. Mlai because it's part of Tanzania. Oh, you're. So it's Mlai. Kiswahili. Okay. Mlai, okay. Not okay fine. Magufuli. Fine. So yeah. Thanks. Uh, what about you? <laughs> uh, um, it's Rue at Ruena Carrier on Instagram, at Ruena Carrier 6 on Twitter, and Ruena W Carrier on Facebook. <laughs> Are there like six of you? <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Different <laughs> versions, okay. So how are you feeling? There's a six in there, there's a W in there. <laughs> gotta mix then it up, gotta switch it up. Yeah, I'm tired. Instagram <laughs> is Tattoo Diana, Facebook is Tattoo Derito, and Twitter is D and underscore zero six. Yes, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about and Jim Lyon. And Jim Lyon. And just set it everywhere. And Jim Lyon, you get me. Hey, where is our tags and LinkedIn? At a LinkedIn. Hey, we almost mentioned in Tinder here. Oh, hey. Okay, Tinder. Tell us. All right, TJ. So for me, it's at Tevin Waigoro on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you so much. Oh, you also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, that's actually. Hi guys. Yeah, Welcome guys. to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like literally, that's all I say. Like, I, I, I spend. We are so yeah, I've seen it. It's terrible. What? <laughs> Support guys, uh, like this is this is why, <laughs> this is why we broke up. This is why we broke up. Clearly, the two of you couldn't. I mean, <laughs> this is yeah, work. yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, instead of focusing on the relationship, he's busy on YouTube. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, like, 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 subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, just, this has been seen with Dr. Funny. Thank you so much to Janet Otien, of course. Listen to her song on YouTube, and of course, a big shout out to the Tigros for coming on the show as well. And of course, a big shout out to Kenya's biggest, most trending. Uh, TV show right now, of course, apart from TNA with Dr. Foneke. It is a socialist. Make sure you watch it every Wednesday at 10.15 only on KTN Home. Let's support local talent. Ladies and gentlemen, a big shout to my DJ of the night. DJ yeah. Yeah. What do they call you? <laughs> Not your ordinary DJ. Yeah, DJ this is Liz. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, is there anywhere you're playing? Okay, she'll be playing in the house PlayStation. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, see you again next week sometime. Like I normally say to all the ladies and mwah, to all the men, you can sort yourselves out. Don't close the window. Mosquitoes need to feed on you. They need the supper as well. See you next week, same time. Thanks so much. Hey guys, it's it's it's. That's how we sign out. That's how we sign. Right. Oh, you, do you know? Do you want, are you chaga? Like as you finish, yes. are you like chaga? Yes. So do you have like a chaga, like a chaga uh, proverb or something? Proverb. Hey, we normally finish with wow, the proverb. No, I'm not. I'm oh not. my God. No, I'm not that deep, oh, man. You're <laughs> not that deep. Your <laughs> reaction is like, no, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. the type. I'm the type. <laughs> I'm the type. I'm like, ask me in Swahili. I will uh, tell you. You guys don't have. You guys don't have. I finish up with an answer. Proverb that says, See you again next week, same time. Yes, sir. Hello, Dr. Funny. This is Elizabeth. Check us out. Look at it.
Kenyan boy. Yani toto kiboko, yani toto kiboko, yani toto kiboko. I want, hey, ana bongela nundu, akitembea.